Hi, so in this video we will learn how to create an ellipse when the distance from a focus point and the eccentricity value is given. So the question may be asked like this, either he can directly name the ellipse, he will directly tell you that you have to draw an ellipse and he will provide you the distance between directrix and focus. So in this case the distance is 50 mm. He will also provide you with the eccentricity value. Fine. So this is a straight away question without any confusion. You can easily make out what is the curve you have to draw and all the details required for drawing it. Whereas in some cases the question may be twisted wherein he will not tell you the name of the curve. He will just tell that a point is moving with some following some relations. So the relation is that it is keeping this ratio constant. The ratio is between its distance from a fixed point. This point is called focus and its distance from a fixed line. So these are the two distances. Okay. So the distance from a fixed point divided by distance from a fixed line. That ratio is always kept constant. So in this case he is giving the ratio as 2 is to 3. Now here you have to identify the curve. See in order to identify you have to check what is the value of eccentricity. If it is less than 1, it is ellipse. If it is equal to 1, it is parabola. And if it is greater than 1, it is hyperbola. So in this case, we can easily see here, 2 is to 3 means 2 by 3. Since numerator is smaller than denominator, we get, uh, we get the value eccentricity less than 1 and it will be ellipse. So this is what we will get here, the figure. So this is what we will we'll try to create on the right side. Fine. So first we will have to draw the straight line which is called as the directrix. In case you are not getting angle angles you have to turn on the polar setting or the orthogonal setting. Then you have to draw a horizontal line somewhere here. Extra line if it is there you can just trim it off. Now we need to find the focus. Now in our question the focus distance has been given as 50 mm. So let me take an offset, O enter and 50 enter. This line offset on this side, 50 mm. So this is the point which we will be using it as focus. So what I'll do, I'll just trim this off, TR double enter, trim it. And this line is of no use to us, so I'll just delete it. Now this point, the end point of this line is the focus. Now what you have to do is, we have to take this eccentricity which is 2 is to 3. Now we have to divide this line into 2 plus 3 number of parts. Numerator plus denominator, that will give us the number of parts. So give the divide command, div enter and it is asking you to select an object, click on the object and enter the number of segments. So we want 5 segments, keep it. So we have divided this line into five parts now. Okay, so this point is focus and now we have to find vertex. Now the eccentricity value has been given as 2 is to 3. So we have to take two divisions from the focus point. So let me put this point focus, height 4, focus, okay, zero angle, focus. So this point is focus and I need to find the vertex point. So where will be the vertex point? Vertex point will be two divisions from the focus and on the other side we'll have three divisions. So this point over here is the vertex. So I'll just copy this and this is the vertex. Fine. So now we have the focus and the vertex. Now we have the focus as well as vertex. So next thing we'll have to create this constant ratio line. This line is called as a constant ratio line. So this is built based upon the eccentricity value. So now we have the vertex as well as focus. So just take a circle. Center of the circle should be at vertex and it should pass through focus. Then take a line command and from this point draw a vertical line upwards. Now just trim the other part, PR double enter. Trim this part, this part. Okay, 
so we don't need all this so we need only this part of the curve so now if you join this point over here with this point this line gives us the constant ratio line or the eccentricity line so now what we have to do we will have to take this line extend it as far as you want and then uh, okay so let me take offset of this at uh, some distance so what I'll do I'll take 150 mm offset I'll trim this below line and I want this line to intersect with this line so I'll just extend EX double enter extend it so the same line without changing its angle I'm extending it to this point now all I have to do is I have to create these parallel lines fine so I'll just start at this point offset 10 mm distance I want so at, at a gap of 10 mm I need lines I need to go on creating these lines okay so once the lines are created we need to extend these lines up to this so go, go on to give extend command ex double enter and select all these lines fine now we have to find these points p1 p2 p3 and all fine so what was the condition we were given for finding ellipse the distance uh, distance from this point focus and the distance from this line they should be in a constant ratio now in this line is provided us with some triangles so look at the relation between this this length and this length what is the relation if I take up these two lines this line divided by this line is 2 by 3 and this line divided by this line is always 2 by 3 so this ratio is always maintained that is the function of this eccentricity line so what we'll do we'll have to actually use divider when we are using the instruments here what we'll do we'll take up circle circle has same distance throughout right so we'll construct a circle so technically the radius of this circle is equal to this length so now I'll have to take this measurement and uh, this distance should be the distance of this line from focus so intersection of these two curves I'll have to mark so the intersection of this and this is what I have to mark so I'll just place a point with PO command over here so I got the intersection point next I'll just move the circle to the next point so after this the next line we have is this line over here and we have to mark it from the focus itself so I'll just mark the point over here okay the same thing I have to continue doing it then go to the next line take this length so I'll have to increase the radius here and then I have to mark this distance from focus using a compass so the intersection of this and this you get this so the same task you have to continue for all the points okay you have to continue this for all the points so you get to take that length and mark the intersection point again go to the next okay go to the next one and again increase the radius mark it from focus the intersection point again go to the next again increase the radius again move it to the focus mark it so the same procedure you have to continue for all these lines so increase it bring it back to focus again mark the intersection point again take it here increase the radius bring it back to focus mark the intersection point so we're getting a number of points which are supposed to be on the ellipse we're getting all these points which are supposed to be on the ellipse so joining all these points with a smooth line will give us the ellipse that we want okay 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 I need to be careful while selecting the center okay so go on doing this procedure I have one more line I think 
okay this point over here increase the radius okay and move it back to focus so this point over here the intersection point is here and then I think the next one will be the last okay so this is the radius we want and move it back to focus so you can see here the last point luckily it is exactly meeting on the axis line itself so the last point is here itself okay so now that we have got all these points we will just mirror all these points on the other side so when you are selecting this be careful don't draw from uh, don't draw the rectangle from right to left if you are drawing from right to left you will get something called uh, as the crossing polygon and this will select objects which are inside as well as the objects uh, which are you know on the boundary whereas if you click the rectangle on left side and drag on right you will get blue and it will select only the completely inside objects so we just need to select the points so I'm drawing this blue rectangle. I've selected the points. Then go for mirror command. You can take it here. From this, you can collect, take it, or you can just type the shortcut M I enter, and click two points on the axis. Anywhere you can click. After clicking the two points, it will ask a question. Do you want to erase the previous objects? No, I don't want to erase it. So I just print enter. So now you can see here, I've got all these points. So the upper points and the bottom points, joining all these together will give me the ellipse. So now to get a smooth line which joins all of these, I'll have to take a command called spline. The spline command is there inside the draw here. Spline fit I have to take. Don't take this one, spline CV. This curve will not pass through all the points. This is the one we want. Or you can just type the shortcut SPL. Yes, and then start at the vertex and join all these points join all these points together okay so whatever points you have placed you have to click on all these so you can see the shape is coming out exactly as planned and the last point you can click it or you can just press this button the close and in right click also this will be available so click on close so you can see this is the ellipse that we want okay. so just to complete the diagram you can just extend all these lines over here to the bottom okay so this will complete our diagram fine so some points that we'll have to observe over here is a b line this AB line is called the directrix. This line, the CD, this is called the axis. F point, this is focus. V point is vertex. PT uh, is the tangent. So how to draw a tangent and normal? Fine, I have not drawn it over here. Let us try it over. So I'll first have to choose a point where I want to draw the tangent. So I'll just take a point. If Okay, you may have to turn on the nearest point to be able to get a point on the curve so you can see I'm able to move on the curve so somewhere here I'll take the point this is where I want the tangent and normal so first from that point I have to draw a line starting at this point and passing through the focus passing through the focus so I'll have to draw this line next I'll have to take a perpendicular line to this to get a perpendicular line uh, what I'll do is I'll give the command of rotate or else first let me copy this I'll create a copy of this and then I'll rotate it rotate command is RO or you can take the command from here and I'll rotate it by 90 degrees so feed it from the keyboard 90 press enter so this line is perpendicular to this line so now we need to move this move command you can see it's here or you can just type M enter this point we have to move it to the focus and this line we need to extend it extend command is ex double enter and then extend it so this point here what we get here that is t so this point here is t 
and uh, this point here is P. So PT when you join you will get the tangent. So join this point over with this point. So this PT is the tangent. So you can just move this with the midpoint. Keep it over here. So that the tangent extends on both the sides. Later if you want you can just join this back here. Okay. So this line here is the tangent. Now we need to draw the normal. So in order to get the normal again we have to create a copy of this. Copy of this. Rotate it. By what angle? by 90 degrees and then move its midpoint back to our required point. So the angle between this line the tangent and normal is 90 degrees and that's how we are drawing the tangent and normal. So the same procedure you can apply for drawing tangent and normal at any point. Okay, You can even take a point over here. Okay, when you join it the point T will be somewhere up here and that point when you join here you will get the tangent. Okay. So, thank you for watching again and uh, if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to stay updated about future videos. Thank you.